जय हिंद चिल्ड्रन थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चेंजेस इन द क्वेश्चन पैटर्न इन इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास टेन इन द एकेडमिक ईयर 2020-2021. The whole question paper is divided into two parts part A and part B part A for 40 marks and part B for 40 marks total 80 part A contains only objective questions total 40 marks part B contains subjective questions for 40 marks let's discuss part A first reading 20 marks literature 10 and grammar 10 marks First question will be from reading section. Multiple choice questions based on a discursive passage of 400 450 words to test inference, evaluation and vocabulary. 10 out of 12 questions to be answered. So this is the first question, reading comprehension. A discursive passage will be given and there will be 12 questions based on that passage. You have to attend only 10. One mark each, total ten marks. That's the first question. Options will be there for each and every question to test the inference, evaluation, and vocabulary. Okay. Now let's move on to the second question. Multiple choice questions based on a case-based factual passage with visual input, statistical data, chart, etc. of three hundred three fifty words. to test analysis and interpretation 10 out of 12 questions to be answered so here again multiple choice questions i have already told you part a completely multiple choice questions so second question also reading comprehension but it's a case based factual passage a visual input will be given or a statistical data will be given or a chart will be there and based on that a factual passage will be given and some questions will be there based on that factual passage 12 questions will be there and you have to attempt only 10 again one mark each and total 10 marks like that total reading comprehension 20 marks now the third question will be from literature textbook I have already told you literature ten marks multiple choice questions. See, multiple choice questions based on an extract from drama or prose to test inference, evaluation, and vocabulary. Any one out of two extracts to be done. So this question is from your literature textbook and from drama or prose. Two extracts will be given, and you have to select either the first one or the second one. total 5 questions will be based on that particular extract any one you have to attend okay 5 marks now the fourth question again from the literature textbook multiple choice questions based on an extract from poetry to test analysis and interpretation any one out of two extracts to be done so this question will be from the poetry section two extracts will be given and you have to attempt one multiple choice questions will be asked five questions will be there one mark each total five marks okay now the last part in part a that is grammar grammar for 10 marks 10 multiple choice questions out of 12 to be answered that means again multiple choice questions for grammar section 12 questions will be there and you have to attempt only 10 One mark each, total ten marks, and the questions shall be based on the following. They have given you the topics, the grammars portions that you have to learn this year: tenses, modals, subject verb concord, reported speech, and determiners. In reported speech, you have to focus commands and requests, statements, and questions. So these are the portions. for you to study in this academic year the deleted portions in grammar section this year are use of passive voice clauses noun clause adverbial clause relative clauses and prepositions so no questions will be there based on these grammar sections okay now let's discuss part b questions writing section for 10 marks literature 30 marks 
In the case of writing section, this year only formal letter and report writing will be asked. So let's see what all questions will be asked in part B. First question will be a formal letter based on a given situation. One out of two questions is to be answered. So here also you have options. You can select the first one or the second one. The word limit should be 100, 120 words and the marks 5. One mark for format, two marks for accuracy and fluency and two marks for the content and coherence. Okay. Now the second question Writing an analytical paragraph based on a given outline, data, chart, cue, etc. One out of two questions is to be answered. So here again, analytical paragraph should be written and the word limit should be 100, 120 words. So maybe an outline will be given or a data will be given or sometimes chart or some cues will be given. Okay. So two questions will be given and you have to select only one. Here again five marks, one mark for the format, two marks for accuracy and fluency and two marks for the content and coherence. Now questions from literature section. Four out of six short answer type questions to be answered in 20-30 words, each from first flight and footprints without feet. So here Total six questions will be given and you have to write only four short answer type questions. The word limit 20-30 words. So questions will be from both the textbooks. First flight and footprints without feet. It's compulsory that you have to attempt two questions from first flight and two from footprints without feet. Understood? So that's compulsory. Three questions will be there from first flight and three will be from footprints without feet. And you have to write four questions. You are not supposed to write three questions from the same textbook. Two questions from each textbook to be written. That's a compulsory one. Let's move on to the next question. Four out of six short answer type questions to be answered in 40, 50 words, each from first flight and footprints without feet. Again, six short answer type questions will be given and you have to write only four. Three marks each. So total 12 marks. Understood? So the last question was just for two marks and this question three marks. And so the word limit to be increased 40, 50 words. So here again, two questions compulsory from uh, first flight and two from footprints without feet and total four questions to be attempted. Marks 12. Now we will move on to the long answer type questions. One out of two long answer type questions from first flight to be answered in about 100, 120 words each to assess creativity, imagination and extrapolation beyond the text and across the text. This can be a passage based question taken from a situation, plot from the text. So two long answer type questions will be given and this question will be from your literature textbook first flight. So since it is for five marks the word limit should be 100, 120. So you have to attempt one question only. Now the second question from the long answer type again one out of two long answer type questions from footprints without feet on theme or plot involving interpretation, extrapolation beyond the text and inference or character sketch to be answered in about 100, 120 words. Here again two long answer type questions will be given from footprints without feet and you have to write only one. And the questions will be based on the theme or plot involving interpretation, extrapolation, etc. beyond the text. You have to write points beyond the text and sometimes character sketches can also be asked. 100, 120 words, total 5 marks. This is the last question. The deleted lessons from the textbook first flight are How to tell wild animals, trees, folk, Mitchbill the author, for and Gregory. So these are the deleted portions for this year. 
and from footprints without feet the supplementary reader the deleted portions are the midnight visitor a question of trust and the book that saved the earth dear children if you have any doubts in the question pattern you can text in the comment box below thank you